Ho ho ho! Take two! Hey folks, this is Fred Bernardo, the smoking guitar player from Tasty Lick Barbecue Supply in Chillington, Pennsylvania. How you doing? Hey, guess what? It's getting to be around the holiday time. That means Thanksgiving. And you know what we cook for Thanksgiving, don't you? A big, beautiful turkey on our grill. We make a big, beautiful roast turkey. And you know, Thanksgiving, I like nothing more to get the whole clan together, the whole gang. Everybody, we all get together and we have a big dinner at my house. So you know, this year it's a little different. My daughter is back living around here and she's working for the company, Corinne. And you know, when I told her about the turkey and how much fun we're gonna have eating turkey, she said, Dad, you know, I don't eat no turkey. I'm a vegan. I said, vegan? What the heck? How'd that happen? Vegan. My daughter's a vegan. So she said, make me a vegan turkey. It's called a tofurkey. And I said, wait a minute. I was going to make my beer can turkey on my grill. My favorite kind with the beer can inside on the stand. It's all beautiful. And then I thought about it thought, hey, wait a minute. I know. That's what we're going to do today. Beer can tofurkey with tofurkey gravy. Here we go. folks how you doing today we're gonna make vegan turkey roast that's right tofurkey tofurkey and guess what when I was at the store buying the tofurkey I said to the hippie lady that worked at the, at the health food store I said hey do you have any kind of fake gravery you know to make with that tofurkey and she said yeah we got it right here and she gave it to me so what we're going to do is first i'm going to show you all the stuff we're going to need and exactly what we're going to use to cook this delicious vegan dish here we go so right down here mr cameraman if you'll come down here we'll show you the stuff first off when i went to get the turkey roast from the hippie lady at the health food store I, the tofurkey roast i was expecting you know something the size of a turkey not something in a, in a tiny little box like this let's see what we got in there I give you one tofurkey roast, and this is like the big deluxe roast, okay? Now, then we got, here it is, tofurkey savory giblet gravery. That's right, gravery. You heard it here. Giblet. It's got turkey giblets in it. Tofurkey giblet, something like that. Okay, so you know what? Then we got our turkey rub here, and maybe we'll use some savory poultry. And don't forget, we're making a beer can tofurkey, so we gotta have beer in the smoking guitar player's favorite brewski. That's right, the yingling. We got some olive oil. We got our core here. We used to core jalapenos. We're gonna use that to dig some of the stuff out, you'll see. And we got a sauce brush. So let's make the tofurkey now. You know, before we get around to making this tofurkey, I really think we ought to find out what's in this some bitch, don't you think so? Let's take a look here and see. I got the box right. Whoa! Whoa! Water, vital wheat gluten, organic tofu, which has water, organic soybeans, magnesium chloride, calcium chloride. Those last two sound delicious. Soy -o soy sauce, water, non-genetically engineered soybeans, wheat, salt, and culture. Expeller pressed, non-genetically engineered canola oil. Man, this sounds healthful and good for you. Natural vegetarian flavors. Non-genetically engineered cornstarch. Garbanzo bean flour, white bean flour, lemon juice from concentrate. None of that stuff out of the bottle from concentrate. Onion, carrot, celery, sugar. Here's a good one. Calcium lactate from beets. From beets, I tell you. Sea salt contains soy and wheat. And that's just the roast. Then there's a whole other huge list here for the stuffing. Because under, from what I understand, there's stuffing in here. And it's got this plastic wrap on it and it says, remove before cooking. Well, we're going to definitely do that. And I don't even know if I want to... Whoa! This one's got non-genetically engineered stuff. Calcium chloride, magnesium chloride, non-engineered canola oil, non-engineered 
non-genetically engineered corns. This one has calcium lactate from beets in it too. Okay, well, let's get, let's make it. Okay, Fred Bernardo, I'm back and we're making beer can tofurkey. I'm back after that commercial. So, let's make it now. Here we go. First thing we're supposed to do, we're gonna cut off the end because we gotta, we gotta stuff this here beer can in this here tofurkey thinger. So first we gotta get rid of half of this beer. Mm, let me see now. Here, drink that. My helper's gonna take care of that by drinking some of it. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna open this first, my tofurkey. Always plenty of sharp knives around here. Here we go. Oh, look at that. It's, oh, it's clear. This thing is actually that color of the thing. I thought that was brown plastic. Okay, here we go. That's weird. You know what's funny? The dog's hanging around over here like she thinks there's meat in play, but there isn't. It's just tofur. Here you go, Lily. Oh, yes, sirree! So we're gonna hack the end off here. I think I'll do this one. I'd say about here, right? Now check it out. The stuffing. Here you go, this is the piece we took off. We're gonna take the stuffing out. We're gonna actually make stuffing separately. But I think we better do a taste test here first off. What do you think? Camera people, you ready? Don't, don't miss the action. <laughs> okay, I'm putting on a clean glove. <laughs> All right, Lily. Okay, here we go. We're going to put on a clean glove because, you know, that was kind of in the dog's mouth. Okay, so here we go. So we got this. We're going to make some giblets. We're going to cut this up and make giblets. But first, let's get working on this tofurkey. We got to hollow it out. Ooh, that stuffing is kind of off center, but we got to hollow it out. You got to do this carefully. Because if you mess it up, the thing cracks and then it isn't as good. Because you want a really nice presentation when you put your tofurkey in, on the table in front of all your vegetarian family. Your vegan family. So I'm going to kind of cut this up here like this. Trying not to cut myself. And I'm going to use my jalapeno core and get in here and pull these pieces out carefully. Slowly. Start small and work your way around. Carefully. And then we're going to put all this stuff in a pan. And we're going to just roast it up and make stuffing. Which this is like long grain wild rice and stuff in there. It's really kind of good. Believe it or not. It smells really good. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Get some more of that tofurkey meat out of there. Scoop it out. What do you think, young man? That looks pretty good, doesn't it? Looks delicious in a tofurkey kind of way. Me, I think I just go for the regular stuff. Okay, now we're gonna hollow it out. I'm gonna finish it up and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Yep. Okay, so I forgot to say, we're gonna put some of our rub, our turkey rub, inside our beer can. Now half the beer got, dr got drunken out of here by one of my assistants. It's early in the morning, but he don't care. And we're putting our seasoning in the can. Okay, then what we're gonna do is, Here's our, here's our hollowed out tofurkey roast, and here's our stuff, our stuffing. We're gonna put the stuffing in a pan, and we're gonna make that separate. We're gonna cut this here up and make some giblets, giblets. Now, those giblets aren't necessarily as tasty as, you know, real giblets, which are basically turkey guts. But, you know, if you're a vegan, you don't wanna eat turkey, real turkey guts, you wanna eat tofurkey, so that's what we're gonna make, because we're doing a vegan theme here today. For all our vegan friends in California. Now, a little olive oil, right? A little olive oil on there, just smear it on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. It, it doesn't feel quite as good as like having a real animal to rub down, but hey, you know. And then we're gonna put on a little bit of rub, just a little. Believe it or not, you actually heard me say it, just a little. Because the tofurkey actually has seasoning in it already. So you just wanna give it a little color. And look, there it is on our beer can. Now that beer is going to heat up and steam and steam that delicious and make that tofurkey meat nice and tasty and nice and steamy and moist because you want your tofurkey to be moist, you know, and we're going to put it on our grill and we'll show you that next. Doesn't 
just look delicious? Maybe if you're from another planet? Okay, we got our big green egg, large egg. We're out in front of our store. We got it all hot. We're cooking indirect. And there she goes. Oh, look at that. You want to impress your friends at Thanksgiving? There you go. So we're going to let it in there for a while. And we're going to cook it. Then we're going to take its temperature and see when it's done. Okay, we're going to make our stuffing. Now look, we cut our tofurkey up. I'm going to break it up a little more. We've got giblets, giblet, whatever you want to call them. And we're going to put this on. We're just going to warm it up because I can smell that it's cooked already. But we're going to give it a little bit of olive oil. And we're going to give this one a little bit of the savory poultry. That's right. So that's got some rosemary in it and some garlic salt. It's just going to bring it up another notch. Okay, we're going to put this on our grill and we're going to grill that a little bit. Folks, we almost forgot to make the tofurkey gravy, the fake turkey gravy. Right here it is with savory giblet gravy tofurkey. So we're going to warm this up. I'm assuming all I got to do is warm it up. We got a, we got a thing here. So watch closely, don't blink. Don't blink. Uh-oh. Gonna have to open that. Hold on a second. It's got some kind of spongy thing. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Sean, should go in there, cameraman. Take it. Look at that. Is that, it's like foamy. Ew. <laughs> Well, that is some creepy looking gravy, but we're gonna cook it up and serve it with our tofurkey. Okay. Okay, let's put this gravy. It smells pretty good, but that looks nasty. Let's put this gravy on this other grill. We got a primo, a primo right down here. Oh, and we got some mushrooms and onions for another cooking project. There, look, there you go. I don't think you can go wrong with that. Okay, we'll see ya. Okay, so let's check on our beer can tofurkey and our tofurkey fake turkey turkey and our tofurkey fake turkey gravy. Here we go, our primo grill. Let's check it out. In the pot there. Take a look in there, cameraman. Oh my god. Ooh. That is some creepy looking smell. We're gonna chop it up some more. We're gonna chop it up, we're gonna see what happens. Okay. Okay, there you go. So there's the gravery. Now let's check the tofurkey itself. Right over here. Oh, doesn't that look delicious? Getting close. Oh my God, that looks so scrumptious. Okay. Okay, we're gonna let them cook for a while and we'll show you what they're like when they're finished. Okay, folks, let's check our gravery. I think it's done. Here we go. Hey, look what happened. That foamy stuff, wow, it actually looks like gravy. Okay, that's done, that's coming off. That's our fake tofurkey gravy. Okay, now we'll, we'll check our tofurkey roast right now. Whoa, that's almost done. We'll come back, check it one more time. We'll let it on there a little longer. I don't want, because I don't want any of my guests eating any raw tofurkey non-meat. So our tofurkey stuffing is done, our fake tofurkey gravy is done, and it's time to check our beer can tofurkey. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful golden brown? Let's check her out here now. I don't know, it says 110. That one says 130. That feels like she's getting nice and tender. We're gonna leave her on a little longer and then we're gonna pull it off because we think it might be done. Okay, folks, it's time to check that tofurkey and see if she's done. I got my instant read thermometer and here we go. Now, we're gonna check its internal temperature. The only problem is we don't really know what temperature is done. But we're gonna do it by, t oh, it's nice and tender. It says like 130, 129. I declare that done. We're gonna take it off and we're gonna go inside and we're gonna give her a taste. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Folks, I gotta tell you, we've got our beer can tofurkey dinner right here and we're gonna serve it up. So let's see what it looks like. Look at that. Here we've got our tofurkey giblet stuffing. 
or should I say giblet, here we've got our beer can tofurkey in all its glory. Now can you imagine what, how impressed your friends and family are going to be when you put this in front of them just like this? Look at that presentation. Look at that. Oh yeah, and look at this gravy. Like it sort of actually looks almost sort of like gravy. Okay, so look, we got some plates here. We got our we got our finest plates out, our fine china, and we're gonna we're gonna serve it up. Now first, we're gonna have to carefully dismount it. Oh yeah, and it's got all that steam coming out of it. Mm, that actually smells pretty decent. Okay, whoa, that's hot. That is hot. Now we're gonna put it right on the table and carve it. Now normally I would have my electric carving knife, but I forgot to bring it over here with me today. So I'm just going to have to use this regular one. We're going to just carve it just like this. There you go, look. Carve a nice slice of tofurkey breast meat. Look at that, it's steaming, it's nice and moist. It's nice and moist, look, tofurkey breast meat. Oh yeah, look at that. Tofurkey breast meat. Doesn't that look delicious? Can you imagine the impression you're going to make on your friends and family when you give them some of this? Now, it's a little rubbery. I'll, I'll grant you that. But, you know, we're going to taste it and find out. Because I, I really think the taste... Oh, look, and here's a little stuffing that was left inside. We'll put that over here in our stuffing. Now, we're going to try it. We'll cut her in half. Look at that. Isn't that... Doesn't that look delicious? And then see, we can cut it like this. Like, look. Make nice, thin, tender slices. Don't forget to cut it across the grain. That's right, just like that. Now, let's plate it. Let's plate our tofurkey dinner. So first we'll start out like this. Look, I, I don't know about you, but I always like the piece with the skin on it on the end. Now I'm going to put it right like that. And I like some of the dark meat and some of the white meat. So there you go. Look at that. And then I'm going to get... Some of this over here, look. Some stuffing on there. Now you can tell I you can tell I've I've worked in a fancy restaurant. Look at that. The SGP knows what he's doing. You know, I think I want a little meat more meat on there. I'll just take another little slice of tofurkey meat. And then I could just dump it on here, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna actually use a scoop. Watch this now. You know what? I think I want more meat on there. To balance the plate a little more. Yeah, and, and you know what, while we're at it, how about a little more of this? There you go. Now we're ready for the gravy. Look at this. Mmm. Look at that. Cameraman, are you getting close enough that the people can really see the creamy texture of that gravy? It's kind of got the texture of, like, turkey pudding or something. Okay, and there's your tofurkey dinner. Now, we got a little bit of salt and pepper on here like this. Don't forget to season it. There you go. Mmm, it actually smells delicious. So, I think it's time for a taste test. So, we'll do that next. Okay, folks. So, guess what I got me here? I got myself a couple of innocent bystanders and a dog. And we're going to find out just how delicious this tofurkey dinner is. Now look at that. Swimming in the tofurkey gravy. Or should I say gravy? Look at that. Give each a piece. And we're going to get some of the filling in here. Look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? There you go, young man. Okay, now, how about for this other young man over here? You, you, you want this, right? You're ready for yes, this, right? I do. Yeah, you like tofurkey, right? You think you're gonna like it, right? Okay, there you go. Feel free to lie anytime. Now, before you good gentlemen taste that, hold on now. Where's the dog? Let's give it the real test first, with the gravy. Oh yeah! She's making that gagging noise a little bit, but it's okay, right Lily? What do you think? Yes, 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 okay, good. Okay, gentlemen, taste the tofurkey. Give it a good taste. Take a good bite. Just pick it up and eat it. Just eat it. Dig in. Come on. You're, you're lagging behind there, sir. What do you think? Is it spongy? Yes. 
Is it spongy? Yes. Yeah, is it foamy? Yeah. And does it taste kind of rubbery? Mm -hmm. Rubbery? How about the texture? Rubbery? How about the taste though? It tastes a little like turkey, right? Yeah, a little like How about turkey. that gravery? Look, it tastes like gravery. It does. It tastes like turkey. Wait, I'm going to taste that gravy. Hold on a second. Let me take a big taste here. It, so it's nice and moist and spongy, right? Yep. Yeah. Mm, they're right. It's moist and spongy. And the gravy? It tastes like turkey. Okay, how about the filling? Not bad. Don't forget to get yourself a giblet. The dog is waiting for more. There we go. Okay. I'm going to have a little more of that there filling. I think one of my bystanders just went to the ba headed for the bathroom. Folks, the stuffing is really good. And that's all we got to say. So if you're a vegan, or you got a vegan in your family like I do, you might want to make a nice beer can tofurkey on your grill because that presentation, you must admit, was second to none as far as tofurkey goes. This is Fred Bernardo, the smoking guitar player. Tasty Licks Barbecue Spa in Chillings, Pennsylvania. We're cooking for Thanksgiving, we're cooking on our grills, we're making pizza, and we sell all the stuff you need, so please come over here and buy something, would you? We'll see you next time. Let it roll. Eat some more here. Over here, young lady. Let it roll. Over here, young lady. No, on camera. She's a little camera shy. She's a little camera shy, but we made this meal for her. So now we're going to let her taste it, too, while the music's rolling. While the credits are rolling. There's some filling for you. Dig down and get some. It's right.